Uh, I'm, I'm, off. I'm off. Okay, maybe it's a three-person job. <laughs> okay, so I think we've got it so far. Oh, maybe not. This one goes there. Yeah. Oh, no, and this one again. Oh, no, it goes here. Uh-oh. It goes here. Uh-huh. I finally get it, but in order to lift the umbrella up, we needed um, some height. I'm obviously not the one to give anyone height. Is that it? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Have you just been watching us this whole time? Yeah, I need talk. Steve's man arms. But we didn't need Steve's man arms. Us two girls got it all by ourselves. We were good to go. Oh, but now that I can't ever open it wide enough to, uh, to get the pin in. I didn't know he was filming. He probably could have put the camera down and helped us. Yes, you have to push it all the way up there. <laughs> <laughs> If you look over there, he's the guy that put the wrap on my um, on the blade on the the Yukon over there, and now he is coming to pick up the 57. So super excited to see what John's going to do. You know, he's down in Corpus Christi, Texas. Uh, we have become fast friends. He's always giving back, and we met because uh, he was he does a charity every year called the Hot Rod Run, where he raises money for Driscoll Hospital. And just through there, our, our friendship has grown, and and we've continued to to lean on each other for help and references and all that good stuff. So, you ready to go see the 57? Yeah, let's, let's go. It. They did double panels on all these older Chevys, which was a huge mistake. Yeah. And what happens is moisture gets in between the panels and it just sits right here in the corners. So, a lot of these guys, uh, and I don't know if John does it, but a lot of guys will fix it, but then what they do is they'll put a little hole. Oh yeah so that that way the water actually drains out of the door as opposed to just sitting there. Just hang in there. Uh, but that's what they did, they did these, which is they pushed them out. Yeah, a spacer in there, but it's in the wheel. Or hell, they might have found a spacer on it, to be honest with you, but. There's, there's, there's two things when it comes to a car like this. One, I can hand them $100,000, and then we can have a showroom car that we can take to SEMA and still lose. Yep. Uh, <laughs> and still nobody will give a shit. Uh, but it'll be a badass car. Or my goal with John is I want it to be an everyday driver that I can jump in, start. It's super clean. It's a little more modern so that when Renee wants to drive it, my parents want to drive it, they feel comfortable driving it. Um, so to make it more sound, if you will, um, clean it up, polish it up, get the paint looking good, chrome back sparkling. Looking good. Yep. Um, and, and that's going to be, you know, several thousand dollars, but it's not going to be a hundred thousand yeah. dollars. Throw fuel injection on it, throw some AC in it, because it sucks driving them in Texas oh, yeah. without AC. <laughs> yep. So, and those are little modern touches that aren't changing the whole entire car. You can always go back to original, and nobody will be mad at you about it. So, uh, but it's also I also want to be able to, to to take it in a parade, right? Take it to a car show so somebody could walk around and, and enjoy, right? And I'm not talking about a car show like trying to win an award. I'm talking about a, a, a hot rod meetup, you know? Cars where, and coffee in the morning. Yeah. Heavy glory. I'll just slide on my wood. And then there's spiny, so it takes two people to, don't get poked in the booty. He was like, wow, plants are expensive. I was like, yeah, now you know why Miss Dora clips them from people's yards. <laughs> so Miss Dora likes to travel by train because she doesn't have to go through TSA with her plant clippings. But Steve wants to get two big, tall Seguro cactuses that wasn't that much taller this tall. $899! I couldn't believe it. Let me tell you what happened, guy. I needed new work boots because, let me look at my other ones. Look, that's how long I wear these boots out in the yard, working in the yard, right? So, of course, I need a new pair. I mean, look at these poor bastards, right? I wear them till the wheels fall off. So, I tell Renee, we gotta go get the agave plants that she wants. So I told her, I'm like, I need to stop at Academy and get some boots. I should have never taken her. Guy. Spin. I go in there, I'm like, on a mission. I walk in, you know me, I walk fast. Right, Lori? I walk fast. Absolutely. I know what I want. I know what size I am. 
I don't need, I don't care what color they are. They just have to be snake boots that I can hunt with and work in the yard with. Boom, go in there. Before I look back, no Captain Evil, no Renee. Where is she? Buying shoes. So now I'm just sitting there like, oh my God, dude, let's go. Wasting my time. Tell everybody about your pair of shoes that you got that we didn't go to the academy for. What about my pair of shoes? They're really cute. I already snuck them back to the room. <laughs> <laughs> These are not the pair of shoes I bought. These are pillows that I think we're returning. We gotta go see what looks good in the back. My shoes are way cuter than your shoes for the record. Your shoes are not functional and get shit done around here. Mine do, for the record. I live out in the country and in Texas there are rattlesnakes and I'm always stomping around back there and God forbid you always have to think about your kids, right? I don't want to get stung by a snake, uh, bit by a snake, end up in the hospital. It's not going to kill me, but it's going to ruin my fucking month, maybe six weeks, maybe two months. And I don't want to do that. So, and also, I also stomp out there a lot because I do know that there's rattlesnakes and I want to try to make sure that my kids, when they're out playing around, that there are no rattlesnakes. What do you want? So, yeah. You move the rock. What do you want? So you can see what it looks like. One there. One there. It's a whole thing. It's always a whole thing. Two. Three. Well, I almost think that maybe we don't put anything there because they'll get so big that it'll start, it'll, we'll have to cut it as it starts going over the path. You know one here? And I guess one here, but I see what you're saying. This side is going to look bare. You know what? We can put one of the baby ones over there. And we'll do the bigger ones to fill this area because we have the little offshoots on them. Two. Right here. I can pull that out. Right in the center. I mean, I think we probably have to pull that out anyway. I know, but that's like what I mean. It. Do you want to do it there? No, I don't think we should do one centered. It looks weird. Now, when she agrees with me, it's so funny because she's not agreeing with me. It just means that I nailed what she wanted to do anyway. I mean, it's from there to there. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Oh, did you hear that? That's fine. No, oh, that's fine. Oh, did you get that? That's fine. No, no, it's no, not this fine. This has to get moved up a little bit. That's it. It's done. It's done. It's done. Oh. Just so that they're kind of in a line, not a straight line, a curved line. You want to round like that? I mean, that's what I thought, just so it looks flowy and soft. Well, I was thinking that the papers would come to the edge of this, right? and then go this way I'm thinking we just do pavers and then that way all of this is, is, paver. is pavered and clean yeah instead of having what are we gonna do with this yeah or we put concrete here I don't want more concrete she shits on all my ideas it was gonna be two curves right like this so there was gonna be a concave opening here and then we were gonna fill this with like plants or something but once we actually mapped it all out, when the guys came to do the wall, they were like, this area in between is gonna be so thin that you're not really gonna be able to do much with it. And so they were like, what we can do is build the stairs, do the stairs all the way across. And if you decide you wanna add those in afterwards, you've got the concrete base, you can put them in. But once the stairs went all the way across, we were like, I kind of love that like, you can just sit here on the steps. One big dick here. Uh huh. And then another big dick over there. Uh, I agree with you. Did you say dick? Yeah, they're like, they're like cactus. They're like huge cocks, the big old dicks. Cactuses. This guy is a mutual friend. This is your moment. <laughs> He's your a moment. mutual. I have lots of moments. <laughs> your moment to show value, Tim. <laughs> so, this, um, how many parking passes do you want? I would ask for four. Let me reply to this. Copy and paste so that I can. And then I need to know: Am I providing an opening act? Was that in the contract? Okay, I'm gonna go work out. I gotta keep this body in shape for your bonus. You thought... <laughs> your bonus. Yeah, I know. Bonus. I looked at you and thought, oh wait, I think you might be. Fourteen. Fourteen. See it? Oh, I hit that one first. Pipes. Well, I actually dug here, hit a pipe, moved over, hit a pipe, went this way, hit a pipe. <laughs> but I can't. I can't shave the bottom of it off. It's fourteen inches deep. 
and this is you're looking at at the top of this pipe is 11, about 11 inches all right i'm gonna take a shower come back out here and help what? oh there you go Lori. you're welcome Thanks. those are the kind of bonuses you get around here ladies <laughs> you want to work for the trevinos you get all that Lori gets all the good bonuses. And then, she, the and then what Lori does, because we're also working on the Steve Trevino cologne, she saves these and then uh, strings them out. <laughs>